Alright, what's going on everybody? Today we're gonna do something a little different on the stream. We're gonna use this like first half of the stream to like record a video that we're gonna post on YouTube uh, reviewing Polytoad. Because uh, we got a 4 one set and a 5 one set. Here's our cat recording mm -hmm. it with us. Oh. <laughs> she loves to touch the computer. Uh, but alright, yeah, we're gonna go ahead and begin with the first set. I think is a 4 1. So these are post battle commentary. And then, yeah, we'll go ahead and go at two speed. That way we can keep this going faster. Uh, so, this is a favorable matchup in the beginning because we got the Mud Shot versus the Amok. I figured he would switch out. That's why we brought up our Switch menu. Uh, but, yeah, this is kind of just covering Polytoad. It's like a review for, like, no! an alternative to Polyrath. <laughs> she's so mad. I <laughs> know. She's so upset with us right there. And then we got the safe swap into the... Like, he swapped into his Venusaur, and then we swapped in Charizard. That's, like, the greatest feeling ever is when you're coming in. We didn't shield the Sludge Bomb there. We, we miscounted and thought he was only at the Frenzy Plant. Do we shield this, Corey? I don't... Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I thought you just said you didn't. No, yeah. We just okay. didn't shield the first one, though. Yeah. Yeah. We just came in Charizard versus Venusaur, so that was, like, super crazy. Like, you know, like, he swapped it in on his log. Then we throw our blast worm, we should KO this muck if we'll put on some shield pressure. But yeah, after this we'll be doing our regular stream. We do regular streams at 5 p.m. Yeah. Uh, to 7 p.m. <laughs> to 7 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Usually. Yeah. Usually, yeah. I mean every day. It's 640. Well, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. But not today because I had a meeting. But mm -hmm. I told everybody, like I told my viewers that. Because you can join our Discord and still stay connected on like stream updates and stuff like that. So yeah, I know Zionic did a video on Polytoad like a few minutes, like a few days ago, and it's talking about like how it's a safe alternative to Swampert. I actually am liking it. Like, I mean, it has some okay matchups and it has some beneficial matchups, but I like it when it's bursting Swampert because like you're not taking as much damage from its hydro cannons as like if you were water ground because uh, Polytoad is a mono water type. So we go Polytoad and Charge Art, just a favorable lead. Our fast move won't be doing a lot of damage. We we'll just go ahead and throw the Surf. Charizard's going to want to shield this, or else it's going to be doing a lot of damage. So we counted up to this. We think this is going to be the Blast Burn, but this might be the one that, yeah, that seemed a little bit early. So, yeah, we shouldn't have shielded that. Then we'll go ahead and go through another Surf. Sa safe swaps the Venusaur in, and then we get the Charizard on the Venusaur again. So, really, this video is, like, I mean, it's mainly, like, complimenting the fact that, like, if you lead the Politoed with, like, the Mud Shot or, like, a Swampert variant, and then you have the swamp, or and then your opponent safe swaps the Venusaur, like the grass counter. You got the Charizard in the back to like counter that. So we go for this blast burn on Empoleon here, which should do a lot of damage. The clone Charizard looks sick. We should be able to fire send it down. Hey, our opponent just conceded a true. YouTube video, yes, absolutely, Akash, yeah, yeah, that's why I got the chat box disabled on our Twitch right now, yeah, as soon as we're done recording this, then we'll get the music up, and then we'll get the chat box up, a party, yeah, yeah, yeah we'll have, we'll have a party, yeah, yeah, wait, what are you saying party for? Well, I don't, you just, like, sort of chat back up, and get music on, chat back up, yeah, the music like, on, yeah, know, yeah, this is the boring We part. caught the same lead that we did again, where we a lot of people were leading a muck on us today, and then we got the mud shot and the EQ for that. This guy, I'm pretty sure we were like baiting the EQ like with the surfs, and he actually didn't shield them, so we ended up going for surfs to finish him off because surfs are still good. EQ would have just done a big chunk at one time. So then Togekiss, that's actually not the best like for this, but I mean Swampert loses to Togekiss too, so unless you're running the Sludge Wave variant, so it's kind of iffy whether it, like those serve similar roles um so then we come into the togekiss mirror match right here I believe we should this think of this as ancient power but we've been running in a lot of people with aerial ace especially for the grass counters and i don't blame them uh we've been using air uh, ancient power one a lot lately though we've been getting a lot of boosts it's so awesome when we get a boost on stream all right so we experience a little bit of lag i try to like shake my phone out of it then we swap in to Charizard, and then we take this Scizor down while our opponent still has one shield left. The dark, the Night Slash will be doing some, but not enough. Yep. So we take that opponent down with one shield, and then that's all because we like really won the lead with like Polytoad, and we're able to like take a shield and still be able to kill the Amok, even though it cost us one of our shield. 
Okay, so next battle we go Polyhode and a Dragonite. This is actually a bad matchup. What I've been doing in this matchup is just immediately swapping a Togekiss because they're going to usually get out of there as fast as they can. And sometimes this situation happens. And if you can hit the Ancient Power and get the boost in this matchup, like, that does a lot. Like, that goes a long way. Do we get the boost? Not in this one. He's doing a lot of damage to us. Our Togekiss is, like, ranked, like, 84 or something. So that's kind of, like, where our Togekiss stands. So then we swap into the Politoed. Politoed Tur versus Togekiss is a good matchup. It's like uh, Swampert, how Swampert does a lot to the Hydro Cannons. Um, to Togekiss, the Surfs will do a decent amount of chip damage to the Togekiss. We just really didn't want to bring in uh, Charizard. I mean, pretty sure Charizard beats Togi, but still. I'd have to check that. I actually looked that up the other day just to make sure. Uh oh, we're trying to go for this EQ on this Kingdra. And he hits us with the Octazooka right before we throw our big move. Mm -hmm. That sucks because it lowers our attack. And we got him! Swap out. We're just going straight for the Dragon Claw. This should be able to KO or close to it. I don't remember. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, I'm saying no. I, I mean, I don't remember. I'm just going off based on knowledge, yeah. Like, I'm just trying to guess. Because, like, I knew he had Dragonite in the back, so I wanted to finish off with Charizard with as much health as possible because then we have Dragon Claw and Charizard. And then we got that one. We didn't want the Charizard to take the Night Slash. We'd rather have the Polito take the Night Slash because the Polito is a little bit thicker. And we come in and farm that down before it gets down to the second Night Slash. We're switch locked here. He's got the Quilava. I think we go for Dragon Claw, but we built up to Blast Burn just to kind of bait him out. Don't draw the shield. That's annoying. So we just keep on going for Dragon Claws. Get the shield on that one. That was awesome. Look at that. That's the Tiger King's Charizard. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, the clone one. Alright, so I think we shield this blast burn. Yep. Comes in with Vena. That's a really interesting swap considering he just dropped his shield, so we just go straight for the blast burn. KO the Vena. That was really awkward. I think he's just trying to land a blast burn with the Typhlosion, but we got to the uh Dragon Claw before Typhlosion got to the Blast Burn. So that was a flawless set right there. Charizard really pulling weight in that set. Alright. So we're coming in here. This is an alright matchup for us. This is what I like to see. Because like we sit there and throw Surf's at it. And it has like the weakness a little bit to ground. So like it's taking a little bit. Like, But Hydro Cannons don't do as much to us. Yes, granted Hydro Cannon is a stronger move. But Surf still does some damage. We shield the first one though. So I think we're going to go for like Triple Surf. Try to because we expect him to shield one. Yeah. Switches out, off Stagoon, and then we catch it with the Togekiss. That's pretty nice. Did you see how quick he got to that charge move? Yeah. He, like, was literally three moves in, and then got the Night Slash. And that, like, buffs his attack, too, so that makes that Pokemon so strong. You ever seen that Pokemon before? Yeah. It's a cool one. It's one of the new ones. It's a uh, Galarian. You know, you know Zigzagoon? Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's a uh, Galarian Obstagoon. Uh, yeah, Obstagoon. It's, like, there's a Galarian Lanoon and then a Galarian... Obstagoon, so it's like go. it goes three stages now. Oh man, we went down with a lot of energy. We were trying to go for the flamethrower, but then like panic at the last minute and try to go for the ancient power, and then, because we knew we were gonna go down, and then the Empoleon got us. So we shield this with the Charizard. Uh, I want to say we go for Dragon Claw at this moment. Wow, he gets us with the Hydro Cannon. We just go for Surf to KO this at this point. Uh, we're trying to save up for some energy in the back. Mud shots are doing great against Empoleon though, because he's part steel. Then we go straight for the earthquake on his last Pokemon, and the Swampert still has enough energy for a Hydro Cannon. But you can see right here how much the Hydro Cannon does to Politoed as opposed to how much like a Hydro Cannon would do to Swampert. This is a lead that we don't like to see. Don't like it when they come at us with the Dragonites. We just swap to the Togekiss though. Pretty sure the Swampert beats the Togi, but. Uh, uh, I actually, uh, the original one is just fine. The original gotcha is just fine. Because I have the other one and I literally bought it and it was like the same thing. It's like the same little piece. But yeah, they're they're all good. I mean, my friends have them and they use them a lot. We just go for the ancient power to try to take shields, which we did, which is actually great. We've double shielded the two hydro cannons and we don't go down to this one and we should be able to charm down. So, but we're down one shield to his, two shields, and we go for the ancient power on the Gyarados. He probably won't shield since he's only got one left. He does shield, oh my goodness. 
We try to catch this Politoed on the Aqua Tail, but we just go for Surf. This is not the best matchup. Like, Politoed doesn't do great against the Flyers. Maybe if you didn't run the Earthquake set, and maybe if you ran the Blizzard set, but it's alright. Uh, I got mine at GameStop. Uh, yeah, but like I said, it was like a year ago, so like, uh, yeah, I mean, I'm sure you can find yours at GameStop right now, probably. Uh, and then we go for another Surf that should KO this Gyarados, which is awesome. Uh, then we come in with the Dragonite, he hits us with one, and then we're down. Oh, I appreciate it, off-brand cereal, thank you for the follow. Yeah, I appreciate it. Yeah, more of it would show up right now, but, uh, we're trying to record this video, mm -hmm. yeah. A little stable out dancing for you, buddy. <laughs> well, it's not there. He, <laughs> he was, he was, he oh, was. Okay. Yeah, we win that one, though, because we saved the Charizard in the back with the Dragon Claws. Well, maybe All right, so we got Politoed and the Obstagoon. That's that fast charging Pokemon. Dun, dun, dun. No. I'm going to have to run at some point in the air to see if she's got blocks. Okay. Like, you cross behind her, so. Yeah, that's fine. We'll do that here in a minute. Yeah. So we go oh, swip wow. into the Togekiss versus the Swampert. This guy has got the purified best buddy one, so we were like, oh my goodness, this thing's going to be doing a ton of damage. Uh, and then we had a follow from like <laughs> earlier on the screen. Yeah, yeah. So we just come in with the Togekiss and we try to like waste both shields. We're just trying to win a switch advantage by using our charge moves. So he's got the one shield. We end up in the same scenario. So he comes in with Togekiss. We're trying to get this boost off this ancient power. I believe this is another aerial ace Togekiss too. So we come in with the Politoed, just trying to land surfs on the Togekiss, and then he switches Obstagoon, so we're just going to chip away at this. This is where we decide, we're like, oh my goodness, we need to land the Earthquake on the Obstagoon, because it's going to take forever to get to there with surfs, because he has no shield, so we decide to go for Earthquake here. So we'll put some perspective, so that like almost does, like I'd say 45%, maybe, maybe 50 of that Obstagoon's health. So we come in, we should be able to one charm down or be able to come in with Charizard and get some energy. I think we can come in with Charizard, yeah, and build up energy. Yeah, that's fine. We're just going straight for the Blast Burn on the Togekiss, and that should do quite a bit of damage. I think we even Dragon Claw at the end or something, yeah. No, yeah, that just KO'd the Togekiss. Well, this is a rough matchup because, like, we're just mono water, so we don't have that resistance against, like, uh, electric like Swampert does, but we do have the fast moves and stuff that, like, Swampert does, so, like, we have the earth, like, kind of the ground, like, advantage versus earth. We went straight for the Earthquake, hoping he didn't shield, like, thinking that we didn't have a Legacy one, but he he definitely called our bait. So we just swap in the Charger. Our whole team's weak to Electric, if you can't tell. Like, we have a Water, and then, like, a Flying, and a Flying. So we come in with Charizard, then we get hit with the Aqua Tail right here. This is going to hurt a lot. And this is the battle, I think, for no, five wins that I think that we were like, oh, my goodness, we're going to choke. We're going to choke. Mm -hmm. <laughs> but, yeah. And then see the Gyarados just comes in and Dragon Breast us down. We're literally down, like one, sh like we're down both shields. He has one. Uh, this shouldn't do much. I'm pretty sure that's like literally what we were thinking. We're like, all right, this is fine. Uh, this was the Pokemon that we were really worried about. Because right now you probably shields thinking it's maybe Flamethrower. And we just come in. This was the best play. We swapped in the Politoed after he drops the shields, hit it with the Surf. And then it goes to the Battle of the Polys. This will show you right here who is the superior mm -hmm. Poly. He goes Dynamic Punch, which we really did not like. We go for the EQ, trying to do a lot of damage at once. Do like half health. And then we're trying to get to another Surf. We get to another Surf. He's got Mud Shot, so he's not doing a lot of damage to us where we were Mono Water. We do another surf, and I'm pretty sure we get to another surf right here before the poly for the polygraph even able to KO us. So that shows right there how beast of a polyto it is. <laughs> <laughs> like we even swapped in for the token kiss for the last like KO, and that was it. And I'm pretty sure that is the 506. Let's see it. I think we claim rank rewards too, so we'll go ahead and go and do that, I guess. Yeah, five out of five. We got all five rewards. That's what's up. And then. Got a Skarmory. Yeah, I got a Skarmory. But, yeah, all right. Have fun, Corn. I'll be out there, and I'm going to record in a second. Oh. Uh, yeah, um, thank you, everybody, though. I appreciate y'all watching. And, yeah, I stream every day on Twitch from 5 p.m., 7 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. So I appreciate it, and thank you all.